I'm going to show you how to make a classic French dessert, which is crepe Suzette. Now, first of all, we're going to make the pancakes themselves. In a bowl here, I've got some plain flour. I'm going to add some caster sugar and a finely grated zest of one orange. And then make a little well in the centre. I've got a beaten egg that's going to go in there. little mix and then gradually add some milk. We're just bringing it together to make a nice smooth batter. Now at this stage it's good to beat it quite vigorously and get rid of all of those lumps before you add the rest of the milk. Finally, I've got some melted butter. Now I'm just going to put the pan on to warm gently. And while that's happening, I'm just going to whisk the batter to make it really smooth and well combined. Okay, let's just tip this into a jug and that's going to make it much easier to pour into the pan when we make our pancakes. So need to put a little bit of butter into our warm pan. Okay, now we've got some nice foaming butter, so let's go for it. We're trying to get eight pancakes out of this mixture. Okay, this looks to me like it might be ready to turn, so just ease your fish slice underneath and then a gentle flip. Okay. So I'm going to pop a lid on just to keep it warm while I carry on making the rest. Now, if you want to, you can just put a little bit of greaseproof paper in between the pancakes to make sure that they don't stick. This one is ready, so I'm just going to slip it out of the pan. So that's my last pancake ready now. I'm just going to slide it on top of the pile. Now for the crepe Suzette sauce. I need a large pan. I'm just going to heat it very, very gently. And in this bowl here, I've got the zest and juice of one lemon and the juice of one orange. And I'm just going to take the zest off this orange and set that aside for the decoration. So just into a separate bowl. Just pop that aside for later and then halve the orange and get the juice out. Okay. And now I'm going to add some orange liqueur. You need about three tablespoons. I've got Cointreau here. And just give that a stir around. Now we need to put three tablespoons of this mixture into the frying pan. With some caster sugar. Now heat it gently stirring until the sugar dissolves. Now I've got a nice pale golden sort of toffee-ish colour in my pan now that the sugar's caramelised. So I'm just going to add the butter. It's in cubes just to help it melt quickly. Drop those in. And now I'm going to add the rest of that lovely citrus juice. Now that needs to bubble just for a couple of minutes until it gets sort of sticky and shiny. So while that's happening, I'm just going to fold those pancakes we made earlier. Now let's slip the pancakes into this lovely syrupy juice. And all we're doing really is warming them through. Now they're going to have to overlap a bit, but just baste them with that juice as you go. 
Now my pancakes have warmed through, so for the final touch, a little bit of brandy. Pour it over and then... Now once the flames have subsided, your crepe Suzettes are ready to serve.